Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Go ahead and give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah. I pray that also that you are walking in righteousness. I pray that you are allowing God to just overtake your spirit, your mind, and your soul. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus is real. God is real. His spirit is real. His anointing is real. And he loves you. He told me to tell you first and foremost, he loves you. He loves you with an un dying love. That's why he sent Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Calvary was just not a show. It wasn't about the movie that Mel Gibson did. It, this stuff was real. He died for you. He cried for you. Come on, somebody. He was tried for you. Y'all don't hear what I just got through saying. Hallelujah. Praise God. So my message is very powerful. They have been, um, especially since I've been fasting, it's just been off the chain. God is doing something. So God has been giving me messages that I'm talking about. They're so powerful and penetrating at the same time. And so if you read my title, it says Satan uses people in Hollywood and high profile people to seek you out. Even, even people that hire you, they're after your anointing. Now I'm going to do this thing the way God tell, told me to do it. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. So basically, um, we we're talking about saying the other night. Um, and God says, because that's one of my gifts, my ministry is singing and also preaching, teaching deliverance. All right. So long story short, this is what God told me. He, he deals with me very heavy in the prophetic. I think you all know that. And that's not to glorify myself. The gift is his. I'm just a, a messenger, a servant. He said, Deanna, they need to understand something. We were all with God. So you were all spirits. Remember, Satan was the choir director. I'm going somewhere with this. So. God did not take away his gift. So his gift was music. I'm going somewhere. We were talking about a famous celebrity. I'm not going to say who, who was talking and all that. And I understood what they were saying. I understood. Trust me. Excuse me. Most of them are Satanists. I don't know if you understand that. Most of them channel, even movie stars. I know I'm going to crush some of your spirits because guess what? Y'all love the entertainment. Y'all love TV. Y'all love Hollywood. Y'all love stars. I get it. Just let me break that thing down before you just not listen. So one of the things even started with my life. I always knew, and I'm just being real with you. I don't, you know, and I'm going to be very transparent and it's all going to tie in. When I was in Sacramento and I was going to Calvary Christian Center, before I had this neck surge, I had neck surge. That's why y'all see this scar right here. And I can hit any range. They used to call me Lil Whitney. Uh, Y'all ain't ready for me. I mean, I, could, I didn't even have to practice. It would just blurt out and I knew it. But when I had the surgery, something happened. And that's a whole different story. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> but anyway, so I remember when I had catered to Stevie Wonder and all this stuff and how they set me up with some RNAs, a and &R. And these are people that can sign you a contract. Y'all know what happened that day when I had the, um, had the meeting? I overslept. And I woke up crying, calling people. It was it. They don't play. You get one shot at that, especially if they set it up for you. And I was like, God, you don't want me to be famous. What's wrong? You know, and I didn't get it for years. Truth be told, I just thought God just was not with me like he said he was. Now, years later, I understand he was protecting me. He was protecting me because I already knew it was in me, but it was powerful. But what he did not want the enemy to do is to take my gift and use it for his glory. I just said something. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there and I did it too. I did it too. When I was a little girl, we look at TV. Oh, I want to be that. I, I want to be a um, Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. I can tell you everything I want to be. I, I just want to be everything. <laughs> Truth be told, like some of you. And I always knew I was going to Hollywood. I always knew I'm, go I'm going to be very transparent. I always knew that I was supposed to be among the stars. I didn't understand it. I do today. So, and I, and I'm, when I was down there in LA, they gravitated toward me, just like, I'm not kidding. That's why when people, I'm going here, people try to mistreat me, I'm like, you got no real money. No, I've been around people that so say have money, billionaires, me. You not all that, stop that, stop that. And, and trust me, oh, I'm about to go here today, I'm gonna break this thing down so simple. They don't even act like that. They pinch pennies, real millionaires and billionaires. I'm the one turned them on to go to dollar stuff. Y'all ain't ready for me today. I know, but guess what? I'm coming. Hallelujah. So when y'all be acting all arrogant, I just be looking at y'all like, really? <laughs> I'm just being real. Let me go back around. So we were talking about a famous store. I've been asked God this years ago. 
because I knew Whitney was supposed to sing for God. We all were in heaven. Everybody that have gifts, the enemy wants to use your gift for his glory and God wants to use your gift for his glory. Y'all ain't ready for me. God is the one that gave you the gift. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Most gospel artists, all singers, you are supposed to glorify God with your gift. The enemy wants to come in and taint your gift. So that's what the war is about. That's the war for souls. That's the war for it. Now y'all understand why God wants you to confess that you're his, that he's your Lord and Savior. And yet the enemy is saying the same thing. If you, if you fall down and worship me, I'll give you this and I'll give you that. Because some of y'all acting like y'all don't understand what this is about. And you know clearly what it's about. That's why you can't, let me tell you something. And I don't care what nobody say, please come for me. Because I, I can break it down spiritually and in the natural. You can't make a six-figure. You can't make six figures be a millionaire being there without the elite saying so. Stop that. I don't care what nobody say. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. So the gift, y'all know this the most powerful industry? What's the most powerful industry? Come on. This is going to be like a, a, a slash video Bible lesson. The most powerful industry is music. Because it is the medium for what you worship. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I said. That's why God gave it to David. He said, I want you to build a tabernacle. They have the tabernacle of Moses, which he established the foundation of God, laws and covenant. And the tabernacle of David established the worship. Y'all don't understand? It was always established. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So now we have to choose who you will serve. That's why God says in Deuteronomy, choose this day, blessings and cursings. Choose this day who you will serve. For as me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God told me to tell you, be careful. They're after your anointing. It, like I said, it, it wasn't just that situation. It was several situations when I was in Hollywood that things were just stopped. And I was so mad. I was like, God, I don't understand. I thank God he stopped it. I thank God he stopped it and because I'm, I'm going to be very transparent because y'all need that. At the time I was not where I'm at, I did it. I'm just being real. I was after something and, and, and I'm going here because some of you need to share this video because you know somebody going in the direction. People want to be famous so much. You see, they, they got us good. They brought in that tell live vision and we just be on the time. I want that. I want to do that. I'm going to be there. And, if, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you how powerful your thoughts are. Do you remember in the Bible where they was building up a tower, the Tower of Babel, to actually reach God? And God had to confuse their languages because God said, wait a minute, don't fools doing it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm paraphrasing. You are so powerful that you will do that thing. And the devil will, will dangle that carry. Come on. Come on. Please come. That's why it happens that you get tainted. Because you have to make a choice. This is what we're supposed to do. Who will you who will you glorify your gift to? Either God or the devil. And we always know when you have picked the devil because guess what? Everything you touch is tainted. I just said something. Everything you speak is tainted. Everything you do is tainted because who is over it? Who's ever Lord over your house, your life and your house? No, I was going to say house too. Y'all wonder why when y'all go to some people's house, you just can't stay long. You're like, something's wrong. Something's wrong. There's a spirit up in here. You need to ask them who they're connected to. I bet you already know who they're connected to. It does matter who you connect to. I don't connect with everybody, and I used to. Oh, y'all don't understand. I'm, I'm not bashing. I'm just a, a deliverer. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm delivering a message that God said. God said that some of you are taking the bait. You are taking the bait, thus said the Lord. The enemy just baiting you in with, with money, with honey, with funny, with fame, you know. I mean, whatever it is, he, he, he just baiting you. Choose wisely. He said, because heaven is real. Hell is real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. Don't worry. You got pastors that have done it. With They've joined the boule, the elite clubs. Now, I wonder why they're famous on TV. The real ones like myself, they're not going to give us too many opportunities because they know the anointing we carry <laughs> going to break some of that stuff. Hallelujah. The power of the anointing is real because it ain't us. It's God. He said, I am God all by myself. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Is there anything too hard for me? I've seen God do some miracles this weekend. And I don't care what nobody said because some of you are high-minded. But God know how to. I'm going to tell you what God told me when I saw that miracle right before my eyes. It concerned me, but it was about other people. He said, I see what the enemy did. He said, but now watch what I do. Hallelujah to his name. And, and, and not as in my spirit. I know what the enemy is doing, y'all. 
but watch what God do because he made Pharaoh for that day. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He, he, he hardened Pharaoh's heart. Y'all don't understand. When people come against you, God will harden their heart. And then guess what? He going to use it to destroy them. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't got to do nothing but stay in position. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. Stay in position, thus said the Lord. This stuff is real. But choose wisely. As I was asking God, I said, God, everybody have a singing gift. They don't glorify you. You see, that's why it's tainted. And I have to be very, very transparent because I have to deliver this message the way he said to. That's why they die the way they die. Y'all, this is not a game. That's why when y'all see me, thus said the Lord, and it's against a person or something, I have to say it. The blood would not be on Apostle Deanna Dixon's hand. I'm sorry. I can't. I, I don't care. You talk about me. You go. You lie on me. You do whatever you do. Got to do. Do it. But one thing you will never be able to say is that I didn't deliver what God said to say. Hallelujah. I am more afraid of a God. He said, "Be afraid of the one that killed the body and the soul." They're gonna kill the body. That's just. That's just. That's just a given. Hallelujah. So Hollywood and every, all these other places, and. Oh, God, I didn't know you was going to make me tie that in. I'll be doggone. God didn't did it again. He didn't did it to me again. I got to tell you what happened on Thursday. Uh, you, he go, He's smart. God's smart, y'all. God's smart. Okay, and I love it, too. I love it. Thursday, and I didn't address it Thursday because I was too hot. I was hotter than a, a 747, y'all. Okay, so I put something on Facebook, and somebody took it the wrong way, and he's a millionaire. And you wouldn't believe it. Even churches got on his side because he's a millionaire. Tag me and stuff, tried to come against me. And I, I, I ain't going to lie, I want to get him. I want to get him because I can get you righteously. I ain't got to get you ugly because that's not what we're called to do because that's what this is about. I got another video to do after this, and I'm going to tell you all about what God said about that. But let me tell you something. Well, actually, I did that this morning. I forgot I did that about how you restore people and don't be beating people up in the spirit. But let, let me tell you what, what God said about that. This brother came against me not even knowing me. You guys, y'all don't know protocol. If you have something to say, you contact somebody personally. The Bible says, let's go Bible, because y'all like Bible, right? That's what we're going to get to, Bible. If you have an audit against your brother and sister, go to them. He didn't say bash them on Facebook. He called me a false prophet. He attacked everybody that followed me on another person's page, not my page, because he know better than come to my page. I hope he know. I hope anybody know. Hallelujah. And I ain't gonna lie, I want to get him, but I had class, I had to keep myself pure, and then I had to do the radio show yesterday. So you know what I'm saying? I'm not crazy. I listen to God, but I promise you, I was like a pit bull, just I was waiting, I was waiting. And here it is. You out of order. You out of order. And everybody, you, you, you and the church that got on the bandwagon, you out of order too. And then now after you do everything, you're gonna talk about uh, you're gonna slide me your number in the inbox talking about calling. I ain't got nothing to say to you. You were supposed to do that before you did what you did. Try to come at me. What you want? Brownies points? I ain't got no brownies and I got no points. But I got the truth. Y'all don't know how to deal with people. If it's something that you don't understand, ask a person. But first, you're supposed to go to God. God, are they telling the truth? God, who is this person? Y'all coming against people. Y'all don't even understand. God got to backlash you now. He has to because he can't go against his word. If you didn't understand what I'm talking about, oh, thank you, Lord. It was that post that I was talking about is you know don't take business cards first of all my brother and i hope i hope somebody tag him um there's a police video and also we know this to, found to be true because you don't know my past about being with the fbi so I, i'm still I know, I know people thank you thank you there are people that are abducting people human trafficking sir that's giving them perfume and they falling out and then they got them but you didn't know that because you did not contact me. What you talking about? Explain. You just attack. Oh, she installing fear. How, you don't even know my spirit because I am not afraid of nobody or nothing. So, so rather than that, but but when you don't know a person, you 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 you're speaking. You're speaking. You're speaking. Y'all need to stop that. Every uh, everybody does it every now and then. Don't speak on things you don't know, and, and don't speak so fast. Sometimes just sit back and and listen to the spirit. And if you don't understand, go pray somewhere. That's what we're really supposed to do. That's protocol. So then the church got on the bandwagon, and then honestly, I believe a couple of other people got on the bandwagon because then I know when I'm being tested. So then I was tested. If you got to test me before you know me, which is real, test the spirit by the spirit, the first thing you should have did is went to God, sister, brother. Don't come to me with that foolishness. We have to learn how to do things in a manner 
that is in order because God is a God of order before he's a God of anything. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, praise God, praise God. God wants us to love each other back to life. But I'm telling you, he said, choose wisely because some of y'all, you know, ain't no some, most of y'all, he said, y'all choosing money, jobs that he didn't even ordain you to have. You just, it's a blessing from God. You lying, you lying. You, God, God didn't do, God had nothing to do with that. Gospel artists. If it hits your feet before it hits your heart, that ain't gospel. Gospel moves your spirit. It talks to the spirit. It moves in the spirit. He said, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and truth. He said, spirit first. And then he said, truth. So you don't even have to have the truth. If you have his spirit, he's going to make it true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. Y'all better stop all that foolishness. Time is sharp. I don't know if y'all noticed my, my, my messages have gotten more powerful and they're piercing. Something's happening. There's a shift. And if you don't understand what that shift is, I don't know. What to tell. So y'all better stop playing. Stop playing with people of God. Stop playing with God. This is not the hour. There's something God is doing. I can feel it. And, and yes, now you're supposed to fear God. If you don't, you're a bad something, something. God bless you. And good luck with that. Woo, so that's what God wanted me to tell you. With your gifts, you got to ask God. Help me serve you with it. Because if not, the enemy, is, the enemy, I'm serious. Let me tell you something. Top colleges, y'all wonder, everybody just, y'all don't understand how this thing going. Everybody that you see that's being offered to the top colleges, those young kids right now and everything, they see a gift in them. They see a gift in them. They see a gift in them. So they want them. Oh, yeah, we can train them to be on our side. Y'all don't understand how this is going? Y'all still don't get it? They got a whole Bible. You don't understand what I'm saying? Whew. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Count the call, saith the Lord. With your gifts, you're supposed to glorify God. And if not, I promise you, the devil is coming. And he's going to give you an offer that you may take and you may regret taking it. Come on, somebody. Because I don't care what nobody say. I, I know y'all think just because they got a lot of money, presumably. They got houses. They got cars. I'm talking about stars, actress, actresses. I don't know what they're doing behind closed doors besides going to sacrificial ritual meetings that's killing babies. They have to. They're being recorded when they do what they do. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. So now they're really scared to get out of there. Count the cost. Too many of children of God are compromising. Oh, I knew you was going to make me say this. They have gospel artists that I know. And don't even lie. Because some if you only knew how connected I was on a low low. And I saw the low low because I ain't trying to be friends with these people, but they talk to me. How are you going to have a gospel contract and your manager gay? What you think that makes you? Huh, sis? I sure hope somebody passed this video. Yeah. Everything you put out, tainted. it. Yeah, yeah, I know the world likes it and a few Christian people. Like We're not attacking the sin. Don't get it twisted. We don't attack each other. Because God can save anybody. Don't I'm not talking, don't, 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 don't lie on me. But as a Christian, I can have a covenant with you. I love you. I love everybody. And to be honest with you, homosexuals always come to me. I love them. But I'm not going to agree with that sin. No, no, no. I ain't doing that now. We cool, but we ain't that cool. But I'll never throw you away. Hallelujah to his name. Because God is still powerful. Jesus never did that. Jesus cast that demon out. Hallelujah. Ooh, I feel the power of God. All right, God bless you all. I pray that you count the calls. And another thing God told me to tell y'all. Stop being so angry. Where's the spirit of joy, of peace? Too many angry Christians. Y'all, They probably made that, that game after y'all. The angry birds. Mm-hmm. Stop being so angry. It's okay. The Bible says be angry, but sin not. That means don't go too far with it. Don't you ain't gotta go to you, you don't have to do that. He 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 drew them with love and understanding and compassion. He corrected them, he inspected them, and he checked them. But it's the way we are to do things. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. God keep and I'm gonna tell y'all something else. Thank you, Raven. You made me um Get my last part, Raven Henson Wilson Williams. I'm sorry. Let me tell you something. It does matter who you listen to. I can't most gospel music today, and I'm sorry, it's, it's like motivational music. 
I don't feel no spirit. I don't feel no spirit. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't feel no spirit. Now, and that's why I don't know if you notice. I listen to older, like Shekinah Glory and Jessica Reed Ready, and I listen. Um, what's her name? What's her name? Jacqueline Carr. Now that little girl. Not, I mean, I'm just saying it has to be anointing. I, I love everybody, but I ain't listening to everybody. Got to guard your spirit, guard your spirit. This stuff is real. People don't like this because wide and broad is the way that they're going. There's so much a great apostasy right now. The people want to feel good. But what is it going to cost you in the end, said the Lord? All right, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. I like that, Betty Green. Don't allow the enemy to prostitute your gifting. That is powerful. I like that. God bless you guys. God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah to his name.